welcome to Sibomet. My guest today from Beirut is the president of Haigazian University, uh, the very Reverend Paul Haidostian. Uh, Vera Badveli, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. It's my pleasure. And uh, we're going to talk to you today on two, about two very different events, uh, but in my opinion, both of them tie together because they perfectly elucidate the role of this very interesting small institution in Beirut and in Lebanese society. Haigazian University has been around since? 1955. It started as a college and has now been a university for about 10 years? For about uh, 17 years. Oh now. my, those years went by, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then about this, this, the most recent prime minister that has been appointed, Tamam Salam, also attended Haigazian at some point in his life, is that right? Right. Uh, he and his brother, uh, Faisal, uh, attended Haigazian in uh, the late 60s. Um, his brother graduated in 1971. He uh, did two years at Haigazian and continued in England at the time when their father, Sa'ib, Salam, Sa'ib Bek Salam, was prime minister in Lebanon. Um, so, yeah, they were part of uh, uh, the Haigazian life, and uh, yeah, and they were always proud of it. When we talk about how Haigazian itself is multicultural, part of the Lebanese fabric, or when we talk about Lebanese society itself being multicultural, you don't really realize it until you hear stories like this. True. What true. is Haigazian's makeup today? In 1955, when Haigazian uh, was started, we had 43 students, 15 of whom were already non Armenians from uh, the various countries in the Middle East. Today, uh, Haigazian University has 925 students, 42% of whom are Armenians, so about 400 probably are Armenians. And uh, the majority uh, of non-Armenians are uh, Lebanese, uh, more Muslims than Christians, and some from um, Europe and the USA and so on, uh, very few. So it's quite a mix, uh, ethnically, religiously, uh, but it's primarily the whole Lebanese fabric of uh, Muslim and Christian sects. And, and it's an amazing group. And one of the reasons that's significant is because Haigazian was started by and is supported by the Armenian evangelical community. Absolutely. And, and it's still supported by, but that, but that never uh, was a liability, actually. It became something very positive. Uh, that it allowed for Haigazian to be something very neutral. Um, minorities uh, feeling very comfortable, like the Druze community, always felt comfortable at Haigazian. And all sorts of Christian and Muslims, co Muslim communities, uh, including all of the Armenians of all persuasions and, and religious uh, sector, uh, Christian uh, churches and so on, felt at home at Haigazian. Uh, it was. It, it really is still a neutral ground where everyone feels they're significant. Um, yeah, which is an, a rare example actually in a place like Lebanon. Well, it's apparently so welcoming and open and conducive that in the early 1960s, some of your students embarked on an amazing project about which you have just uh, premiered a film this week. Uh, very true. In 1960, five years after its founding, uh, Haigazian invited uh, a, a Manug, Manugian from Jerusalem, an Armenian, uh, to come and teach mathematics and physics. And uh, President John Markarian then asked him to also supervise a science club. Um, so the first thing they did was, uh, with Manug Manugian, to work on a rocket project thinking and hoping that one day uh, they could participate in this space race that had started between the USSR and the USA then. And they started calling their uh, rockets uh, uh, the uh, cedar ers or cedar rockets. Like the tree. In two, uh, yeah, like the tree. And in two years, uh, already in 1962, it caught the attention of then the Lebanese president, Fuad Shahab, who, who invited them to the presidential palace and gave them some finances and the Ministry of Education supported them. Within two years, it turned from a Haigazian College rocket society to the Lebanese rocket society. And they started launching rockets with the help of the Lebanese army that went uh, all the way to the shores of Cyprus. Um, and it 
then became the first uh, successful rocket of the Middle East. Uh, now, it was forgotten for about 50 years, till a few years ago, two Lebanese French directors, uh, Joanna Haji Thomas and Khalil Ejrej, heard about this, and they came to, to Haigazian, to Manuk Manukian, and they started uh, research on this, and this week uh, we, we did the launching of that film, uh, a documentary film of 25 minutes, um, called the Lebanese Rocket Society. Called the Lebanese Rocket Society. They have their Facebook. Uh, you can see the film trailer. Uh, on so if we don't believe that the Lebanese, actually the Armenians of Haigazian. Exactly. And it, actually it is this Armenian Manuk Manugian uh, who only had a BA then um, as a professor. I mean, he only had a BA. And then it's about six... Uh, or seven Armenian students and one or two non-Armenian students who, who started this whole first thing in the Middle East. You know, on, on the one hand, we laugh at ourselves, right? That, you know, Armenians like to say we did this first and we did that first. On the other hand, every time you quit laughing, you turn around and there's something new that we really did. True. And, and we weren't sure whether we should take credit for this. Um, well, because the, the whole notion of rocketry in the past 30, 40 years in the Middle East it's is so strange. It's associated it's with the Israelis. So Israelis and then war and violence and, and, and military. Uh, it's, it's even difficult to think that it was a scientific project for learning and, and, and enlightenment and so on. And, and yet, I mean, in these past two days, every single Lebanese paper in in French and Arabic has been covering the news of this rocket at Haigazian and, and TV programs have been uh, highlighting this for the past two days. Uh, Reverend, very Reverend Paul Haidostian, President of Haigazian University, thank you for telling us these stories. Both of them are fun, wonderful, inspiring, and it helps us really understand a little bit better the fabric of both Lebanese society and Armenians in Lebanon. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All the best to you. Thank you. And thank you for following Civil Men.